hey guys so i saw this and uh i don't care if it's the, the article or whatever is real or not it is basically how the world is when someone wins the lottery so lottery winner claims jackpot and scream masks so his relatives don't recognize him because you know the story the guy you know the person wins like 420 million dollars and then suddenly relatives you've never even heard of start calling you and you know they start showing up at your house looking for a little piece of that we're not going to have any sackville bagginsons around this place you know it's like your family your mom's side is white your dad's side is white and then like some hispanic dude comes along it's like i'm your your third because no no or you like you have a black family and like everyone is black and then some fucking white dude shows up i'm your cousin <laughs> no i don't think so you know and then they you know they try to make you feel bad it's like oh man you know come on you know you know we, we've never met it's like well why would i care about you now then so i oh, man, have a heart i don't have one of those but with all this money maybe i can buy one <laughs> You know, it, it's, I mean, I would do the same thing. If I won the lottery, I wouldn't tell anyone because you can choose to, you know, because there's still papers and forms you have to sign, obviously for tax reasons, but it's like, I don't want anyone to know that it was me. So can I just have my check and go, you know, because I know exactly what would happen. You know, suddenly if you're, you're an ugly fuck like me, suddenly all the girls want you like, Hey, it's like, bitch. Get your skank ass out of here. You're not wanting me. You're wanting my money. And I'm not fucking stupid enough to fall for it. Well, that's fine. You probably have a small dick anyway. Yeah, but with all this money, I can buy a bigger one. <laughs> oh, John, you're so sharp and witty. I know. I'm, you know, tooting my own horn here, but that's hard because my horn is tiny. But with all that money, I can buy a bigger one. Um, but yeah, it's like, I don't blame them. Like anyone who chooses to do something like this, I don't blame them at all. You know, you're, especially when it's like me, you know, everyone ha wants nothing to do with you. They don't call you. They don't do this. They don't that. And then suddenly you win millions of dollars. And then suddenly everyone's up your ass trying to fucking get a piece of that. It's like, no, why would I give you money? You, you, you've done absolutely n nothing, n made no attempt to, you know, come in contact with me, to hang out, to this, to that. Why the hell would I spend, you know, give money to someone who, quite frankly, is just only coming out of the woodwork now because I'm fucking... I have money and then again they, they they play the sympathy cards like oh man i have a heart no no but okay why is why is my lord and savior trending right now uh wait. Well, I'm not seeing anything worth. Okay, well, that probably would explain. Is that? Oh, no, never mind. It wasn't. Strange bedfellows. Hamsters. Most unnatural death possible. Well. I don't like Twitter taking my Lord's name in vain and just kind of slapping him in trending there for no reason. Get it together, Twitter. Um, if I believed in hell, I'd say I was going there, but well then John, how can he be your Lord and savior? It's a funny world we live in, huh? Because I don't like going with uh, what everyone else is doing. So while everyone is thanking God, 
I'm thanking Lucifer. Yeah. Yeah, take that establishment. Yeah, I'm non-conforming, except I'm thanking him the same way that every other non-conforming person does. So I'm just conforming with them, so I am a conformist. Um... Wait, when you order a <laughs> when you order a book called How to Scam People and it's still <laughs> when it's still not here after four months. I would do the same thing if yeah, I know. Exactly. But you know, I just it, it just shows how, how pathetic people are. You know, anything to, to get a little piece of that. That's why if I won the lottery, which never going to happen, but if I did, that would be a lot of money and I would continue living right here, paying the little rent that I do, living the exact same, because you know, people are stupid. They win the lottery and then they buy these extravagant, beautiful houses, not realizing that, you know, the mortgage and everything is going to be astronomical. And then suddenly they're going to go through that money in a couple months and they're not going to have anything left. And suddenly you just bought this big old freaking house, this mansion, and you have no way of paying for it because you decided that, oh, well, I have all the, unless you have a sort of income to continue helping you, you know, continue to help pay that mortgage and all those, you know, the, the rent or, uh, you know, cause you may rent it, you know, the utilities, probably not a good idea to spend, you know, blow your, your, your money on that kind of stuff. You know, be humble about it. Yeah, you have a lot of money. Doesn't mean you have to go. You know. Now, if it was a car, maybe, you know, you know, uh, car insurance might be cheaper than a, a mortgage on a mansion. But, um, yeah, I would just stay where I am. I mean, I would fix up the house, obviously, you know, because this house is, it was built in 1915 or something like that. But the room I'm in was built in the 70s, hence why it looks like it was, because it has been. This room has pretty much been, you know, uninhabited uh, since pretty much the 70s. It was like a storage type room. Um, so that's why it looks like it's from the 70s, because it is from the 70s. But I would use the money, fix the place up, you know, kind of, you know, modernize everything. You know, redo the walls and stuff. And, and even with the fixings of the house, you know, if you have like $400 million, just a little drop in the bucket. Just a little drop in the bucket. <clears throat> so that's what I would do, you know. And I, if, I, if I was to get myself a car, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be an expensive car. Um, it'd be a, you know, cheapo car used but in good condition uh nowadays it's kind of hard to do that because you know they say oh it's in good condition you ride it once and suddenly the engine blows out on you so it's like if you're selling me the car, you better make sure that it's functioning before i get it um <clears throat> or hell with that much money i could buy the public transportation for myself <laughs> So how much would it be to just rent out one of my own buses to come get me whenever I want? Um, hell, maybe that'd be enough to possibly buy the factory. <laughs> I'm in charge now. I'm sorry, I could probably run that factory a whole lot better than the freaking people who are running it now. Everyone says, like, sounds like you have common sense while everyone else doesn't. Everyone who works there just seems to lack it. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just, you know, obviously, you know, you do things for the people you know. You know, like, <clears throat> you know, you, you take care of your own stuff, but not too much, because, again, you don't want to put yourself in a, a position where you just blow through all that money. You know, so little fixtures here wouldn't take that much. Um, I mean, it sounds like a lot, but to fix the bathroom, the, the, 
the floor in the bathroom was kind of collapsing because the wood was rotting away because like i said it's been here since like 1915 um it was like five thousand dollars so to fix up the house real again a drop in the bucket you know helping my say my parents or something you know maybe getting them a new house same thing drop in the bucket my best friend her house has been there for a while i think since the 40s um you know her parents getting older they've treated me like their own so naturally i'd try to want i'd want to get back so i would you know kind of make renovate you know two renovate uh, renovations to their house you know to her house and I mean, if she wanted additions added on, I mean, easily do that. And again, drop in the bucket. Um, I would start by putting a freaking fence around the house, you know, so that way she could have an actual backyard. That was one reason why we couldn't really keep the dog, because it was a high energy dog, is a Norwegian elk hound, and they need time to run around, but the the yard just. It doesn't have a fence. It's, I mean, you can tell where the yard ends, but it's much better to have like a fence there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I would build a fence. Any additions to the house that were repairs that may be needed. But I, but as for myself, I would just stay where I am. Like I said, I would fix things up here, like the, you know, maybe add on to the porch, make it a really nice porch, like maybe even add on to it, you know, stretch it out a little more, a little further. You know, sitting out there when it's nice and cool and raining, it's it's gorgeous out there. So I'd want to furnish it a little bit, I guess. Um, fix up the roof, stuff like that. You know, and just, you know, spruce up the place I'm in. Uh, but I certainly wouldn't be buying, you know, a $13 million mansion because the mortgage on that place and, you know, just utilities and there'd be no way that I could keep up with that. So I don't know why people do that crap. Yes, it feels nice to be able to buy that. But when a couple months later, when you realize that you've just gone through hundreds of millions of dollars, just paying for your house it's was it really worth it because then now you have to sell it now you have to go back to where you lived before because you can't afford that mansion that you just bought so and then like i said the people coming out like oh i'm your long lost cousin i'm your aunt i'm your like i know my family you're not part of it nope i know my family i've seen them all i know them so have a heart i don't have one of those that's something i could buy but anyway if you want to let me know what you guys think if you won the lottery would you want to be anonymous and if you won the lottery would you stay humble and just kind of low-key or would you go big and extravagant and waste all your money for no damn reason only to find out that you're poor as hell again uh, a couple months later let me know below. Anyway, you guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.